Lion and Messi playing cricket. Oh, oh no, rock by it flower in Indian street. Oh my god, oh my god, who is this? Chris Kale as a Hulk. Wow, Taylor Swift as a Indian girls with wearing shari and also saffron flower. That's really great. Oh, who is this? The crush one, Selena Gomez. Salman Khan as Captain America. Oh shit. This is the Sharp Khan as a Batman. Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in this video, you're going to generate this kind of realistic images using artificial intelligence. And also, we are going to connect these API in our Python programming language. So without wasting any time, let's start the tutorial now. All right, so we are in a website that's called clipdropped.co. So this is the website by stability.ai. Using this, we can actually building some realistic images using our text prompt. So you can see here a stable diffusion axle. This one a machine learning model, or you can say deep learning model. Based on that, it can generate some realistic images. And you can see here so many tools are available inside this uh, website, right? So I'm just going to click here this stable diffusioner because we're going to generate the images based on our text prompt. So this is the nothing but call a stable diffusion axle, and version is right now 1.0. So well, so in order to generate some realistic images, so what you need to do actually, you need to create one account on that. And after that, you need to do some settings. I mean, the step that you have to follow in order to generate some realistic images. Just you click on the adjust button and you can select here the photographic mode so that your image looks like so uh, realistic. And you can change your aspect ratio, what kind of ratio that you're going to take. You can select the white screen, whatever you can. And you can also give here some negative prompt so that it's not actually uh generate some negative kind of images so you can give here let's say we don't need the two head right so let's say two head and we can say that okay it should be the two head okay then we we don't need the any kind of textual data or let's say we are the low resolution image and no low resolution images that you're going to take that and after the no text so this is nothing by ne negative prompt so it's better we can give here one space right that's my negative prompt well so now we can generate some uh, realistic images. So for that, what are we going to do? We can simply give here the prompt. So let's say I'm trying to generate one image that's called Lionel Messi playing cricket. <laughs> but by default, Lionel Messi is a football player. So just we're going to generate some of these kind of images. So let's see how the stable diffusion axle will actually work here. So let's say Lionel Messi is playing cricket in <laughs> Indian street, right? So let's see. So I'm click here to generate this kind of images. Let's click on the generate so that it generates some images. So it will take few seconds to generate this kind of images. Basically to generate the four images, you can actually select the images from here. Just click on the skip button right now. And now you can see here, there's so many images are generated actually. And after that, you can select some images and you can download it also. Well, you can see here, Lion and Mass is playing cricket. <laughs> that's really well. Okay, that's really great. <laughs> you can see here. Okay, it's the jersey of Barcelona. Okay, well, that's really fine. <laughs> you can also generate, uh, you can also download this file here. You just click on the download button and it will download the images. So now we're going to see that uh, the Shah Khan as a Batman, right? <laughs> well, now you're going to see that Shah Khan as a Batman costume. So let's enter the prompt here. Shah Khan wearing the Batman costume. <laughs> let's see. And click on the generate button. Oh my God, that's our... A sharp gun is a Batman. Wow, that's really great. You can see here as a Batman how it looks like. Okay, so this is how it actually works. Now we can generate some more images. Let's say I'm going to generate some images of the rock by. Let's see and do that. <laughs> okay, let's generate the image for the rock. So rock by can name here Johnny Downey Johnson. So Johnson is wearing some saffron flower garland and working in the Bangladeshi street and try to throw this out, right? So let's try to generate this kind of images and our rock by, let's see. Oh my God, this is our rock by, <laughs> Johnson by. Okay, that's really cool. And you can see how it looks good. Wow, that's really fine, right? So this is how it's working here. And let's try this the last one that, we know Robert Downey Jr. I mean, Tony Stark is our Iron Man. Now we're going to convert this Robert Downey Jr. into the Captain America costume. <laughs> let's see that. Okay, now let's enter the prompt. There's Robert Downey Jr. wearing Captain America costume working in the Indian street. Let's try to do this out. And click on the generate. And <laughs> let's see the what kind of image that you're going to generate. Okay, let's click on the content of the free mode uh, because you're going to generate the images in the free mode. And click on the skip. You can also do the pro version also. I can, you can process that. 
Uh, we also see that how can we generate, I mean, we are going to calling this API in our Python program so that you can generate this kind of images so that you don't get any watermark, right? And that's the thing that we're going to be discussing in the latter on. Oh my God, that's really cool. That Iron Man is right now with the Captain America. Let's see this one. Wow. Uh, this one and this one and also this one. Wow. That's really looks good. <laughs> okay. So using this kind of prompt, you can generate this kind of realistic images it's like your imaginations now we're going to see that how can we call this api in our python program let's see and try to do that so well in order to get the api you need to just a log in here uh, using your gmail account and after that the page would look like that and now you need to go inside your my account and you can see here your email and some credit so how can you get the credit actually you just need to sign up here and after that you need to give here your mobile number and then you can get some hundred credit and you can see how my credit is right now 93.5 because I use it. That's why uh, it's cut me 0.5 for each each response, right? Now I need to use that and after that I'm going to call it using my Python programming language. So now let's go on the BS code and try to see that how can we do that. So well, we are right now in the BS code and create here one file that's called main.py. Then what you're going to do, you're going to import here the library that's called request library because we are going to fetch the API from the clip dropped. So for that, we need to import here some library. First one is the request and second one is nothing but peel so that we can save the image in our directory and also the random. Uh, this is nothing but for generating some random kind of image name. And after that, we need the IO because this API gave me the image in a byte format so that we can put them into the images. And after that, what you're going to do, you're going to create here one variable that's called the text input val, I mean value. So you're going to taking the input prompt from the users and after that, you're going to call the API. That's called the clip dropped api.co and text to ta images. And this is version number one. And you can see here inside these files, I gave here my prompt as a none first now. And you're going to pass my string as a uh, input and also the text as a plain text because you're going to give here one plain text. And based on the prompt, you're going to actually generate the images. And after generating the images, we are going to actually save the images in our directory and also you can see here in the header we actually give here the api key and this is nothing but my api key okay and yes this is so long so that's why uh i'm not going to share it here because it's the confidential so that my credit will be gone here because in each response it will actually cut here 2.5 credits so make sure you just actually save it inside your one uh security notebook like like that then what i'm gonna do here we're going to create here on response and so that we can actually uh, save this, this byte images inside our directory. So if each R is okay, R mean this object is okay. I mean, you can get some images based on your prompt. Then you're going to open it using our image. So image.open, you're going to pass here my byte IOA. And after that, you're going to save it inside my file depth. And you can see random radiant. So it can generate some random types of number and we are going to add it in our jpeg images so that we don't get kind any kind any kind of similar types of path i mean we can get some different kind of path that's why and we're going to save it inside my directory and after that it get any error lights uh, maybe internet error or prompt is not found like this kind of error so this is that the case for handling one right so this is how it actually work we can call this clip api in our python program so now it's time to run the code and you can see here data.txt, I have some prompt that I actually uh, save it already so that you don't need any kind of time. Don't worry on the code. I'll give this code in the video description of the GitHub link. You just go on here and grab this out. And I'm going to click here and go on the terminal here. And I need to type here my command. So that's called the python main.py. Okay, I'm going to type here the command. It's called python. Okay, that should be python. And it should be the main.py. And you can see here, enter your prompt. So I'm going to copy here one prompt. So let's go on here. So let's try to, okay, copy this one. Selena Gomez is hiring Shari and praying in Hindu religion style. Let's copy this out and I'm going to paste it here and enter. And let's see it will generate the images or not. And you can see just a white because it will loading these images from the website using this API. So that's why it takes few seconds of time to generate this kind of images. Well, it generated the images, so let's go on here, 73 depth, okay, wow, that's really awesome. And you can see here, without any watermark, you don't get any watermark here, that's really cool. <laughs> okay, 
fine so let's try this out for another one so let's say call chris gale looking like hulk white angle view okay let's copy this out and i'm going to run this file here again that's a python main.py and enter and enter your prompt and it's better we can keep here on coma okay and now we are going to enter right so let's call enter and it will generate the images for the chris gale looking like hulk in a wide angle view let's try this out also well it generated the images so now let's go on here wow let's boom <laughs> you can see the chris gale <laughs> Uh, but it is not looks like, like like the Hulk, right? So let's try to do for another one. So okay, let's try this one. Salman Khan wearing Captain America costume, walking in Indian street. Let's try this out. And after that, we finish this tutorial. So let's run Python minute py and enter your prompt. I'm just going to pass it out and let's enter, and it will generate the images for that. Let's see what kind of images that he got. Salman Khan as a Captain America or not? Okay, it generated. Let's go on here. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is Salman Khan as Captain America, right? That's really cool. So this is how you can call this API in your Python program, right? And also manually, how can you do that? So that's all for this whole tutorial. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial and make sure to subscribe to the channels and don't forget to hit the bell icon. And I'll be back with the tutorial. So till then take care and bye-bye.